But see, I, I love this that you love JetBlue because I always thought of you as like the people's champ. You know, I mean, when you, first of all, people call you champ and they should, because champ is like, it's like when you're president, they call you president even after you're out of office. Senator, governor, they always say, the guy's out of over 20 years, governor. And you always will be champ. But I learned something with my last experience um, on the plane. I learned I don't belong to me. Oh, too many people you just learned that? Yes. Oh, stop. I, I, my right hand to God. Mike, you've been God, famous. My, no, but listen, I never know that um, my actions affect so many people. They worry. You of know? course. You, but they also, no, they inspire people, though. A lot of your actions have inspired people. I mean, you're, but, but you're, just that fact that people worry. They, they see the incident and they just worry. But, Mike, your Broadway show which I saw on TV, <laughs> but I don't live near Broadway. It's fantastic. And it inspired people. I like to continue to you do don't, that. You don't know yeah. that? Oh, you must know that about your life, or um, else you wouldn't have done that job. Son, sometimes that's my selfishness and not ego. What I mean, is your selfishness? Just wanting to, to succeed and be happy, but hey, I want to keep myself to me. Well, well, that's not selfish. Yeah. That's what we all want. You, you, I mean, you have uh, some obligation, no, I, I think. To, I have to realize that I'm not, I don't belong to me anymore. You never did yeah. since you were 20 because you but were I didn't understand champion. that to now. Like when really? I got into that incident, so many people called it with worry, and I'm like, <laughs> that, oh, That God. one douchebag on JetBlue did that after 30 fucking years of being in the spotlight? Anyway, I just want to tell you, you really are, when I see people with you, because the... Over, the reaction was overwhelmingly in your favor. Uh, you are like the people's champ. Like, remember they called Lady Diana the people's yeah. princess? But listen, you're like her, Bill, but, but with that. fighting. But what am I going to do on a private plane? What are you going to do on a no, private plane? No, no. You can it's, jerk off if you want. I know, but look, exactly. But listen, it's only me and people I know. I, I'm like one of those guys. I'm like, I have to be seen. I have to be on the people. I, I don't oh, know. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I'm like one of Magic those guys. Johnson. Is he like that? I have to, yeah. It's yeah, a I, great documentary. I can't, I can't be um, isolated. Mike, you got to see that HBO did a documentary about Bird and Magic, like when they were playing together, you know, the uh, 80s. Uh, it's fantastic because they're such opposite personalities, but they came to quite love each other. But, Bird's a badass, though. Yes, he is. And he, and he, he kept, so but he's, serious, he's like, serious guy. He didn't want the spotlight, legitimate. He real, and Magic only wanted the spotlight. And he talks about when they were in Barcelona at the 92 Olympics, mm. remember the dr first dream team, basketball team? And he said, we were in the hotel, we were getting mobbed. There was a side door you could go out that they told us and no one would bother you. But Magic didn't want to use the side door. Mm -hmm. You know, that's who he was. And that's great, but you don't, you're not obligated to do that. They don't own you. They own your work. Because you put it out in public and shared it. They don't own you. You know, um, Your family owns you. My mind is just, um, my, my, my mentality is jet blue. <laughs> Does that make sense?